Oh, thank you for your goodness. Um, thank you for your word, the power of your word. Thank you for the worship uh, today and uh, the word that you brought through your ministry. Um, I pray you help us all. Um, help us today in Greek. Uh, and we pray this not because we are better than other people, or smarter than other people, but we pray this because you have shown us massive grace. And I pray that we would be people who would live out of that grace. And we pray all of it in Christ's name. Amen. All right. So are you guys okay with the random number yes. thing? Oh, I'm the wrong That's okay. The wrong no. uh, it all goes into the same hopper, so uh, that's, uh, that's good. So, who can tell me the main adjectival ending? This is uh, agathos, oh, sorry. Agathos, Agathe, Agathon. Um, who can do that for me? And the winner is uh, Jessica. Yay. Okay. It's probably, this is probably correct. But is it os, u, o, on, on, oi, on, oi, us, Keep it going. Keep it going. K, 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 K. Um, ice, os, I, and then on, u, o, on, on, ah, uh, o, um, voice, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Who wants to give a shout out for long term memory? <laughs> <laughs> so there you are. Os, u, o, on, n, oi, o, voice, goose, boy. A, 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 I, o, I, sauce, I. On, u, o, on, on, ah, on, voice, ah, uh, ah. Uh. And you were able to do that because you uh, got it all the way to your long term memory. Um, cramming for a test will never get anything to your long term memory. Um, that's why cramming doesn't work in Greek. Uh, Greek will reward us just the daily effort, day after day. And you keep at it, and the day will come when the, all the charts are just there. They're just instantly there. You don't know how they stay there. You don't know. They're just there. And so that's what we're working on doing. So well done, Jessica. Okay, you can tell me the first line of uh, John 1, 1 to 5. And, uh, uh, Alec, uh, you're the winner. NRK, and ha Lagos. Good. Um, Jonathan, can you do the next one? Kai ha Lagos. Good. Fantastic. Um, Nathan, can you do the next one? Kai ha Lagos. Good. Very good. Um, Cundy, can you do the next one? Or Hutas Ain NRK Perfect. Hutas Ain NRK Rostan Dalla. Very good. Um, Elizabeth, can you do the next one? Uh, Uh, Ponta D. Ponta D. Ponta D. I want to say Ponta D. Right, that's one more. Ponta D. How to. Again, right? I'm DLT. But you got the hard part the first time. It was always hard. Okay, uh, Sophia, um, can you do the next one? Uh, 
Alright, so so that's the kite chorus. So we're cross something on Husky up to guitar. It's I think it's kite chorus. Yeah. So this is uh, this is freshening up our memory. What's the new thing? Kai chorus alto. Good. So um, Samuel, can you do the next one? Kai chorus alto. Again, it's all good. Our chorus off to apart from him, there came about our chorus off to again and all. It's not hard to go. Harvey Gone is a little farther down. There's one little bit there in between. Chords <clears throat> uh, to Not sure. Uh out to Genetar Uder Hen came about not even one thing. All right. Um, Laurel, uh, can you do the next? Are you gone in? That's it. Hard gone in, get out to you, so I ain't good. Um, Chloe, by the way, you did a great job. So. Yeah. Hard um, gone in, get out to you, so I ain't I cheat on this one. <laughs> so this is how I cheat. Hard going now to Zoe A. Kai Hey Zoe. So I was picking that up. <laughs> Kai Hey Zoe A. Kai Foes. Good. Tongue and throat, I believe. Kai Hezoi, Tongue and Throat. Right, Lauren, uh, can you do the next one? That's it. Kaitafos and takes Kapia Friday. Very good. And uh, Michael, can you do the next one? So I cheat on all of these. I know, I know the translation for something in darkness is not going to be found. But I don't know it. So here's the trick I had to use to get all of these. I know the last word is Zoe A. And then it's going to repeat it. Kaye Zoe. Ain't And then it's going to repeat this. 
chi and tau photos into x cotita finite. And then it's going to repeat this chi pace cotita. And then I had to memorize these three in order uh, al tau, u, and then there's your kind of All right? So, uh, good. Very good. Hmm. All right. So let's do uh, the cab words. Uh, Mateus. Good. Um, uh, Rebecca. Uh, sorry. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. Good. Um, Joshua. Um, I will sit down. Good. Uh, Jake. I sat down. Good. These are easy, aren't they? There's after the person. Uh, Luke. I have sat down. Good. Um, Alec. I have been sat down. So this is tricky because normally you have the same six words in the same order, but now they're, they're giving us the pluperfect. So the pluperfect is a perfect one step farther back in the past. So it goes from I had sat down, or I have sat down, to I had. So your, your perfect is have, your pluperfect is had. So that's a little tricky. Um, uh, Jessica. Is it our It's either our okay. Harris Passive, that's what go, go with what you think. I was set down. I was set down. Good. All right. Uh Cody. Skill craft art. Good. Do you have a mnemonic device? I didn't. So, what is the word technology? <laughs> <laughs> right. I think it's like tech, technical. Or That's like where we get the word technical from. <laughs> <laughs> All intellectual words come from the Greek. I mean, that's. Uh, Samuel. Uh, good. Very good. Okay. Um, Lauren. I say. Uh, anybody got a new mic device for this? Yes. Yes. Uh, yes. That's good. Save hours. Oh, my goodness. I wish mine was that good. Yeah. Mine's, I mine's say, pathetic compared to that. <laughs> well, yeah, it comes with this. Up. So, when I became a Christian, all the Christian rock bands were trying to be an Elvis because Elvis had just died, and that's how long ago I was going to become a Christian. And so, all Christian bands would um, wear those. Fat Elvis jumpsuit, you know, that Fat Elvis used to wear, too small, pretty gross. <laughs> and there was a Christian album called Captain Sozo and the Light Brigade. <laughs> and that was my new mind box. But it worked for 35 years. So <laughs> but I think I'm going to change it now, so that's better than mine. <laughs> Uh, 18 would be Joshua. I will say good. Um, Nathan. I have absolutely. Or no, I excuse my say. Sage. So that's going to be your heirs. Temporal augment and your heirs. Good. All right. Uh, Luke. Good. Um, Chris. I was saved. I was saved. That's right. Uh, Eric <coughs> uh, Rebecca. 
I think so. Because <laughs> I always think pants are like no pants. <laughs> That's what always happens. That is wonderful. That, that is wonderful. I said. Reduplication and weird stuff because it's a P sounding. All right, uh, Laurel. That's that's right. Reduplication and then no linking, so it's a perfect passive. I have been sent. Yes. Is there a difference in pronunciation between having two names or just one? Pemai. So I would do it. Yes. What the uh, um, labial may be called? So a, a labial is a, la a sound that you make with your lips. So P, ba, ma. So anytime you have a labial, it's going to affect if you add a capital. So it's kind of a class of words. <laughs> All right. Um, Sophia. Uh, I was. <coughs> no, I was. <laughs> so it's air is passive. You have it the first time. I was. I was. So the have is usually going to imply some kind of perfect. So I was. Okay. Uh, Jake. Sound voice. Uh, new modern device. Phonics. Phonics, phonograph, right? Symphony, balcony. All right, um, Michael, you get a, <laughs> you get this hard one. Uh, <laughs> that's it. That's it. <laughs> Perfect. All right, uh, Chloe, Apology. Okay. That's exactly yeah, it. Yeah. Uh, and yes, uh, and that's my new life device. So, well, yeah. That was sick, Chloe. Hey, that's my friend. Uh, <laughs> so that has a liquid future. Uh, whenever it is in lambda new or new, the sigma drops out. And it looks like it's a contract verb. And I call this liquid fusion. Dr. Davis? Yes. What would be the difference in semantics between this verb and Lua? Uh, to loose from? Lua, at least in my understanding, is loose or destroy. Yeah, so anytime you do a compound, uh, it intensifies whatever the word means. 
So, like, you can use the word phileo to mean like kiss. And kind of phileo means like I kiss the daylights on them. <laughs> so, when Judas kisses Jesus, Jesus says, Do you betray the Son of Man with it? The layman. And then he kind of blames. He like he acts like Jesus is like his long lost, but it's all a show. So in in Greek, whenever you add stuff to a verb, it always is going to intensify whatever the verb means somehow. Some intensification. Otherwise there would be no need for the compound. Yeah, so like this is from, and then the word loose. So loose from, right? Like tear apart, tear versus tear apart in English. All right, uh, Rebecca. Okay. Right. Uh, uh, Lauren. Right, so you've got your reduplication and then the ca ending. Uh, Jonathan? Oh, death. Death. Uh, so the study of death is called thanatology. I have a friend from Bulgaria, his name is Nick Athanasov. <laughs> So what does his name mean? Uh, immortal. Alpha privilege. Uh, Nick the Immortal. Like how do you live up to that? Yeah. <laughs> Who are you? I'm the Immortal. I don't think you can live up to that. He's a great guy. Um, okay. Uh, Alec. Um, night. Um, there's a word in English we can pronounce, but I can't remember what it is. Nocturnal. Wow. You're so smart. Nice. That's like, you know, I could never know this one. Uh, Chris. Thank you, little great boy. Road. <laughs> <laughs> you could have just translated, thank you, little great boy. We were wrong. <laughs> so, this is one of those strange words that look masculine. But it's actually a feminine word. So there are only a handful of words that do that. Uh, Cody. Nation. Uh, new mind device. For some reason, I thought of like ethnicity. Ethnicity is exactly where that point ethnic comes from. Good, good, good. All right, uh, Elizabeth. Yes. Uh, uh, I give back. <laughs> you can feel that Greek line is giving way, and they're about to take one step backwards, and it's going to be a route. We're going to pursue them until they scream for mercy. <laughs> it's, 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 it's just about to break for you. All right, uh, Laurel. I will give back. Good. All right, uh, Jack. I gave back. Very good. You did not allow yourself to be deceived and call this a perfect because that looks perfect, but you looked for the reduplication and there's no reduplication. That's what I have given back would look like. So in a me verb, in the heiress, it's going to have a con, but you've got to look for me verbs. You've got to look at the front and see is it reduplicated. If it's not reduplicated, it's an heiress. If it is reduplicated, it's uh, perfect. And then uh, 14, uh, Nick. Okay, good. So this one is I have given back. This one is the perfect, but it's passive. I have 
been given back. All right. Uh, Jim, you want to go ahead? I was given back. That's the second time you've gotten an air at Sasper. That's really cool. Proud. <laughs> Proud. <laughs> All right. Uh, Michael. Yes. I'll tell you my silly Michael Oxford's one. You know, you know, Epo with your noose. And my modern device for that is you think with your noodle. <laughs> so noose is noodle of its mind. So that's a long way around that, but that's how I remember. This is also literally in English. Noodle? What noun? It means what it means in Greek, and it's used in psychology. Oh, they like spelled that way as used to? Wow, I did not know that. Interesting. That's good. Like just N O U S, and it just means your mind. Wow. Okay. First line of the Lord's Prayer. I care. Amen. Amen. Okay, can you get the next one? Oh, uh, yes. Yeah, it's that. But I can see that. I can see that. Uh, uh, so this is the aorist passive third singular imperative. Be made holy. Your name be made holy. I love that. Uh, yeah. uh, yeah. that, that's all we're going to do. Uh, so uh, just those two. Pater Hemon, Hagiasito, All right. So now we're going to review. I'll do the review. Uh, or do you want to do the review? Uh, and the sound came about from heaven, the voice. You are the son of me, the beloved one. A quotation from uh, Genesis 22. In you, in literally, I was well pleased, but if you say it in English, it implies the person is not. So I think you have to do a have. In you, I have been well pleased. Um, and straightway, the spirit. Him throughout. The Spirit threw him out into the desert. This is a radical leading, um, and Jesus is being the new Israel. So. And he was in the middle of nowhere, 40 days, being tempted by the Satan. And he was with the wild, wild beasts. Right? And the angels and the ministers kept on ministering to him. Oh, after. This is good. Elizabeth, you're doing great. After John was. After, right. After John was handed oh, over. After was the, the John to be handed over. That's why. To be given handed, over. Handed over, delivered over. After that having come, Jesus came into Galilee, preaching the gospel of God, and saying that the time of the fulfillment, the opportune time, has been fulfilled. And 
So this is from Ingenzo. Oh, approaching. You could, you could do it that way. Has right. Arrived. right. If you do it as a perfect, has arrived. The kingdom of God has arrived. Oh, cool. Okay. Uh, continue. Continue your repentance. So, if Jesus tells people to continually repent, does that imply you'll ever reach a place in this life of sinless perfection? Continually repent. And continually believe in the good news. Going alongside para agro. By the sea. The sea of Yahweh. He saw Okay, so don't let a big word scare you. What does amphi mean? Both. Both. And what does follow mean? mean? Throw. So what would amphi follow? Mean? They were both throwing. Into the sea, for they were. You see, you don't have to know what the word fisherman. Once you get, they were throwing in the sea. Right? <laughs> then you know from the context it has to be something like fisherman. Right? Okay. So now we're at uh, today's. All right. Mateus. And Jesus said to them, perfect. Uh, oh, all right, guess that's all we have. <laughs> <laughs> what? That's not right. That is not right. <laughs> um, well, that's not right. What did he say? <laughs> this is what I do. Cliffhanger. Season finale right here. Oh, Jesus said. Okay. Can I can I show you something uh, cool? Yes. So if you ever have to do a PowerPoint quickly before class because you aren't prepared. <laughs> Not that that would ever happen. Um, so I just went in a Word document, and I saved all of these phrases as a heading one. And then I'm going to come to my PowerPoint slide and say, insert new slide from outline. And then I go here where I just save that document. And everything that was saved as a heading one is going to be converted into a perfectly formatted slide. Wow. Well, I say it will be. There it and is. And it did. Is that cool? I love that. Six. All right. Uh, so, and Jesus said to them, uh, 18 would be Joshua. Come after me. So, this is like a discipleship word. This epistle is technically disciple. So, when Jesus tells Peter, get behind me, Satan. He's calling him Satan, but he's saying, you need to be my disciple, not be your disciple. So does he use that phrase? He uses this phrase, not the, I think he uses a different word, but he it meant, but this is exactly the same. All right. Uh, Jessica, could you do this one? Uh, 
Um, and I will make you become Fisher's again. Okay, can I ask a theological question? Yes, please. Okay, why do the parallel accounts tell us that John and his brother were mending their nets when Jesus called? So there's an event in the life of Jesus. John records the second version. Luke records the first version. Before Jesus called them, he had been sitting in Peter's boat. And Peter had worked all night. And so Jesus says, pull out. And normally you fish at night. And he says, throw out during the day. And Peter said, that's not how you fish, but if you tell me to do it, I will. And then Luke records that they caught so many fish that Peter had to call James and John. And the two of them, and it was so great that both their boats started sinking and the nets started breaking. John tells us that that same exact miracle happened at the end, after Jesus was from the dead. But he spells out, even though there are so many fish, the net didn't break and the boat didn't sink. So when Jesus says, I'll turn you into people who catch men, catch human beings, do you think it's connected to that miracle? So how's it connected? You <laughs> swap your boat, right? Uh, and then at the end, why do they catch massive fish that even though there's so many, every single one of them gets sent to the shore? Could it be? Well, why did they catch so many fish that day? Why did they catch so many fish that the nets break and the boat sink? Why is it when Jesus tells Peter, this professional fisherman, hey, we owe $400 in tax, this is what you need to do, go get a fishing pole, uh, throw it in the pond, the first thing you catch, you'll get a coin out of the fish's mouth that costs $400. I can pay for both of those. How did that happen? Here's my thesis. You tell me what you think about it. I think the point of that miracle is to show what fantastic fisherman Peter was. Like, so he could boast and say, Look how new fish I already caught. You know, by that. Yeah. Man, I was so <laughs> certain of that. I was going to make like all these application points. You know, I can kind of win people for Jesus, just come up with a better method and try harder, you know? Huh. I'll have to work on that. I'll make you become fishers of me, Jesus says. Okay, five is naked. And then leaving behind the kingdom. Man, that's a fantastic guess. It, it's not boat, it's something else. So having oh, left the their nets. Having left. You don't even have to learn what this one. If you can remember, okay, it's boats and they're leaving something. Oh, it's net. Having left their net, they I call you third. They call me next perfect. All right. Uh, Mateus. Yeah, so this one's hard. It comes from Provino. And this is actually the aorist parsable Provino. 
bino means to walk and um, for some reason I've associated the word bino in diabetes diabetes that is through walking and I know that's not the connection but I think somehow that's where the term comes from and so I remember that bino means walk so if I can remember bino means walking, then what would pro bino mean? It's like walking walk toward a little. Walk, and having walked forward a little bit. Yeah. <coughs> uh, Jonathan. Susan James of Zebedee. Uh, James, and which James is it? It's the of Zebedee James. Uh, if we read the entire uh, gospel corpus, we find out that the Virgin Mary's sister is married to Zebedee. So this is, uh, these are Jesus' first cousins. Mother's also their father. And we always translate this, James. Because of King James, right? but really it's the word. So if you hear that Jesus is collecting a guy named Simon and a guy named Judah and a guy named Jacob and a guy, what's he doing? He's putting together the twelve new tribes, or something like that. But once we change it to James, it becomes impossible for the English reader to make that connection. That's not right, is it? Well, nobody would buy our Bibles if we had the book of James. So, would it be correct? Maybe that's why God's raising you guys up to help bring your Bible studies to come out. You may be as close to the Greek Bible as some people ever get. You can help. You can help. Okay, uh, Chloe. And John. And uh, his name was Rosalos, and his Adelphos, his name was Rosinicos, and his Adelphos, his name was brother. Right. And John, and John, his brother. Good. Uh, kind of. And so grammatically, it's, uh, he saw James, he saw also John, he saw also Altis. And he saw them in, in the boat. In the boat. Um, and this is a pretty big boat because it doesn't call it a toy eon, a little boat, it says a toy on us. And there are hired servants, uh, either in this account or parallel account. Um, James and John were wealthy, uh, wealthy enough to have people who work. Um, so this is a bigger boat. Oh, and and he was uh, Alec, uh, okay. um, and they were repairing their nets. No, Mark doesn't tell us why they were repairing the nets, but we know from Luke they were repairing the nets mm -hmm. because they had just caught so many fish it almost sank their ship. That's why as much as I love. Dietrich Bonhoeffer, uh, cost of discipleship, uh, 
Bonhoeffer is wrong when he says Jesus walked up to three guys that never knew him and said, come follow me and they leave everything. That's just a mistake on the reading. They had seen Jesus perform miracles. Why don't you put the chronology together in John? Uh, because all that is before John's time in prison. Dr. Davis, does this mean that the amount of they caught would have been enough to sink both the smaller boat and this larger boat with higher hands? Or if they're two large boats, which I think is why John is emphasizing we caught 153 huge fish and it didn't sink the boat. Um, how many did they catch here? Thousands. Yeah. I mean, how many fish do you have to catch? That's a really good observation. Uh, yes. So the way you say a big word is saying little words. Katar tizon tas. Okay. Katar tizon tas. It's the kind of there. It is. <laughs> mending, <laughs> mending the daylight side. Wait. Which part of it is the emphasis? Um, since it's a okay. compound, oh, Artizio is so the uh, right. Okay, uh, Elizabeth. And we have a Nathan. Nice. Rebecca. All right, uh, uh, Lauren. They left, and because it's from uh, Afiambi, which means throw away or leave, abandon, whatever, when you look at the participial ending, you have to look and see if the iota is there. If the iota is there, it's present. If it's not there, it's heirs. So this is having left their father of Zebedee. Uh, having left in uh, Laurel. Into toy in the boat purpose. Uh, and uh, Michael having left him in the boat, metaton miss photo. My new mind device for this word. It's missed us being something like a rent. Having left him in the boat with the the hired servants. Good. Wait, is that singular or plural? Plural. Okay. They have enough of a business that they have multiple employees. Which may explain why John is the high priest. He ran in circles uh, where he knew wealthier people. Uh, Joshua? Um, and they followed him. They from went. They went away after him and left what they were doing. <clears throat> And they went into Capernaum. Uh, do you know that all the names in the Bible mean something? As intelligent readers, what do we need to ask? Okay, it comes from two words. Kephir, which means village. Village of not. Could be Naomi. It's actually the word name. Village of name. Do you know that uh, Jesus grew up in the hometown where Jonah was born? And Jonah preached to the Ninevites and they repented. 
100 years later, Nahum comes and gives another message to the Moabites, and basically is God's going to get you, God's going to get you, God's going to really get you, then God's going to really, really get you, then God's going to really, really, really get you, then God's going to get you again, then God's going to, I mean, it's just judgment, judgment. And Nahum needs comfort. <laughs> Jesus goes to the village of Nahum and heals people. After they try to kill him in Nazareth. Okay, so here's what I want you to do. On your um, test, and whatever you put on there, I'll give you that grade, but you put the grade that you would have gotten if we were to take it. Is that fair? Is there an extra one somewhere? And I'll see you on Friday. I'm going to like grading on a scale of like how many? Out of 100. Okay.